Big Daddy here with another video in the series of customizing KDE, Plasma 5. So as you can see, I love KDE. And the guy that made this wallpaper, he loves KDE too. So I'm going to put a link in the description uh, for this guy. And I hope that I'm not saying it wrong. Tobias, uh, forgive me if I butchered it, but um, I'll put a link in the description to his KDE page. And you can check out his other wallpapers. So let's get started. We uh, were in system settings. We were in window management last time. And we went to, we are off to shortcuts because we finished window management. So let me give the normal disclaimer that I'm not the expert at this area because I'm not. Uh, but I'll go in further that some of these are to the point where I don't know what's going on. All right. But I'll tell you what I know. Okay. So this section of standard shortcuts is a overview of all the standard shortcuts in the system. You can get to most of each of these in their respective applications that use them. But this is a overview of them all in one spot. So you have your normal control C for copy, control X for cut. Um, but to, to show you what I'm talking about as far as not knowing what's going on, um, you have the about application. And maybe I'm looking at this wrong, but I would think that the about application shortcut would open the about part of the application. So say I'm in Dolphin and it you would think it would open this portion of the window. Maybe it's maybe I'm reading it wrong, maybe I'm thinking about it wrong, but that's what I would think that it would do. And if I hit Alt Shift and A, nothing happens. So maybe I'm thinking about it wrong. If you know what the problem is there, you just let me know. Um because I'm not sure exactly. So we're off the global shortcuts. And by default, this is not here. I set this. So uh, this is to launch the system settings. So say you're out here, Meta Alt S launches the system settings. Um, and that's basically the only thing you have under system settings. Now these are categories, so they have multiples in them. So like audio volume, and audio volume should probably be under media with media controller as well because this is the volume for your mic uh, and your regular volume up and down and the mute. And the media player has con key controls as well, which seem to go with the volume. But either way, um, these are controlled by your media keys. And if you have a keyboard that has media keys, they just automatically work. If you have an older keyboard that doesn't have media keys, you can change these to whatever you like to actually uh, get the options to go to the next song, stop, increase your volume. So there's also music players out there that don't respond to the media keys for whatever reason. So you can change these in here to a certain key and then change it in your music app and it will actually change the media for you. So K Access has the screen reader. That's pretty much what's in there. And the daemon has the touchpad. So if you have a touchpad of any kind, this is where your shortcut keys would be. Um, now, KWIN. KWIN is a whole nother world. KWIN is the window manager of KDE. And in here, anything that you can do in KDE, in KWIN, you can do in as a shortcut, which is awesome. Okay, so like... Now, like I said before, this is just an overview. So we got to the cube, cylinder, and sphere settings through the desktop effects. But this is a window for all of them put together. And you can pretty much do everything you want from KWIN. So, for example, I'll show you Kill Window is what I use. And, I mean, it's not something that you, need, you should use all the time. But, and as a matter of fact, I don't think I'm going to show it to you. I'm just going to tell you about it because I think the last time it screwed up the video. So basically, I hit Alt, Control, and Escape, and it puts a skull and crossbones as my mouse cursor. And any window that I'm over and I click on, it will kill that window. So if you have a misbehaving app that's not co cooperating and there's nothing else you can do, um, that's one way to kill the window. Um, you can also use the uh, Show Desktop if you're a Windows user or coming from Windows or miss the Windows key. And yes, it is a Windows key. I know we're in Linux, and we call it, I'm sorry, we're in G, GNU Linux, okay? <laughs> I mean, 
let me get it right. <laughs> but um, we call it a meta key. But there's a Windows logo on my keyboard. That's how embedded Windows and Microsoft are in our society. But you can do show desktop by clicking it. Let's not get into a Windows argument here. All right. Moving on. Um, you can do pretty much anything you want in here. So you'll have to go down the list and whatever you normally use uh, in KDE, you can probably find the shortcut key to do it. So we did Media Controller. And Plasma has a few. It has some things for activities and stuff. But the one that I use is the Activate Networks widget. So by default, I have my um, network icon just sitting behind the uh, system tray being hidden because I don't want to see it. I like a clean panel and I don't want to continually see it, but I do need it every once in a while. So I can hit Alt N and see my connections, which I'm connected to and change it from there. So just a quick shortcut for it. Um, power management. Now this is one I use is the suspend. So uh, I have it set to meta shift and S and once I hit that, it will automatically suspend without any warning. So if I come in here, I'm going to hit this, this, and then say, yes, I want to suspend, where I can just hit the shortcut key and suspend. Now, all menus are different. Sometimes they have it right out there, like the dashboard has a suspend button there, and you can do that, and that's quick. But however way you want to do it, choice is the whole point. Um, also, as relating to power management, we'll jump down to system settings. You have lock session, log out, uh, reboot without confirmation. I have log out set to all control delete. Now, I'm not exactly sure what the difference between log out and log out without confirmation is because, and I mean, I know what it says the difference is, but when I hit log out, when I hit all control delete, it logs out without any confirmation. So I don't know where this one comes in, but either way, it works. All right, jumping back up to run command, which is KRunner. Now, KRunner is one of those apps that I'm going to have to do a video on because it is an awesome KDE app. And it's one that's really overlooked, especially by people that are just coming to KDE. Um, it's Synapse on steroids. That's basically what it is. Okay. Um, so the default key is Alt F2, but I change mine to Alt Space, which is easier for me to actually. Uh, hit rather than stretching my hand up and trying to hit alt f2 and trying to get the f2 rather than f1 um, I just hit alt space and it runs and it's actually really fast to uh, launch applications I mean it's quick and easy so we'll do a video on that sometime all right, so we did system settings and the drop down terminal it puts itself in there with f12 by default when it installs because that's the key for the drop down menu. Now, the web shortcuts, we can just pretty much skip over these last two sections. Okay, I won't skip over them, but the web shortcuts are something that was built into KDE a long time ago, and they were pretty much for the Conqueror browser. And they no they don't, I mean, Conqueror browser is not even installed on the newer Plasma editions, the KDE editions. Um, and they don't work with Opera, Firefox, Chromium, any of the newer browsers because you don't really need them because the whole point was to be able to... This allowed you to do in Conqueror what by default you can do in any modern browser, which is type the keyword in and then type what you're searching for. So, um, yeah, you don't need these. And custom shortcuts, I'm not even going to act like I know all that's going on in here. Um, I did at one point set up a custom shortcut and it was so important that I don't even remember what it was. That's how long ago it was. Um, but if you wanted to, you could right click and hit new global shortcut and send keyboard input, which would give you a new global custom shortcut. You would have to input the key that you wanted to use. You would have to name it and then you would have to tell it what action you wanted it to perform. So you would have to know the commands in order to do that. Um, you could also do an actual command. So, But like I said, I'm not an expert in that, so I'm not even going to go there. So that's a brief overview of the shortcuts. And in the next video, we will talk about startup and shutdown. So until then, Big Daddy out.